Hello my Shopify users, in this video we will talk about shipping and shipping rates. In case you're interested in the setup for taxes and payments, I do have a longer video. I'll leave a link in the description below that will cover shipping and also taxes and payments. So check that out. And for this video, we will only focus on shipping. And so here we go. So first, uh, let's just go into one of our products. And I am going to add this product to the cart. And check out. All right, so right away it fills in some fields here that uh, has my contact, email, ship to. By default, it's picked it up from my address. So I am blurring this out for security reasons. And down here, you're seeing shipping methods. So you can see it did pick up some some sort of a calculation here it's offering free shipping five to eight business days and then standard is three to four business days and charging 990 so you want to look at how this is all set up you will have to go into Go into your store here and you can see there's a bunch of links up in here and then there's these settings down here. So if we go into settings, you're going to see a whole lot of other options. All this on the left hand side, you're seeing all kinds of options. And let's see, we have shipping and delivery right here. So if I go into shipping and delivery, we see shipping general shipping rates manage rates all right so it's showing a couple of products we added here and new products are added to this profile so profiles is like you can have different profiles say you wanna you have a different set of products you want to set up the shipping rates differently so you can add those products to a different profile so uh, it's pretty easy to manage profiles but for the sake of this video here we are just going to focus on this one profile that we already have and by the way when you when you start your store you're gonna have a default profile so I didn't create this this is the default profile that was there and so down here now you're seeing some rates are set up here shipping to economy fifty dollars and up so by default Shopify has made this easier for us and given us these options now if you are fine with these options you can just keep them as is what we wanted to see was we have this rate set up here and where did this come from so now you know there's already rates in here and that's how it's calculating those rates now if we look at this closely five to eight business days free and in here you can tell there is five to eight business days free shipping fifty dollars and up right so this is a good thing to check our order is sixty dollars so you know it matches the criteria so that's why it's offering that rate then it also has this three to four business days for 990 why is it showing this option because that hoodie that we had we had put in a weight of three pounds and you can tell here that that meets this condition here and that's why it is showing if you want to go for three to four business days the weight is um, under five pounds so we can charge 990 and send that item to you now one thing we can quickly check here if I go here and say we go back to 
to the cart here and if I go and increase this to 2 now our total is 120 and now if I go to check out look at that the second option went away and the reason is this is not valid anymore our weight is more than five pounds so so you can if you wanted to add more rates you could based on the weight here and then Shopify is smart enough to look at the rates and offer that to your customers and um, yeah that's pretty cool so now we can see we have some shopping um, shipping rates set up in here that will be applied to the order and you know where to manage all those rates so one last thing I wanted to talk about was when you come up with these rates here uh, don't just uh, blindly put numbers in here to put some thought into it um, the weight and the whole size of the package all that matters uh, one way you can kind of get a feeling of how much the rates are going to be based on the size of the package and weight is um, you could go into your orders and if you don't have an order yet you could just do a test order uh, how you create a test order I have a video on that I will leave a link in the description so check that out so I have an order sitting here and so in here when you see this button right here create shipping label so go in there and around this area package so I have all these packages added in here so you can go click on add package this is custom package options and then uh, relative to carrier and then you can go USPS and this is where I selected all those options from so um, so as you select different options here you will see the price changing you could you can tell that it makes a difference the size of the package and it's not just the weight so what I'm trying to say is that do put some thought into it how much you want to charge you you don't want to be overcharging you don't want to be undercharging and you know as time goes on you are going to learn more about it but based on what kind of products you have you might have bigger products you sometimes people are going to buy multiple products how they are shipped together what kind of packages work for you so you might have a group of products that you want to charge for them differently as i had mentioned earlier the concept of profiles so you could go back out into get out of here and go into right here you have profiles so you could create a profile create a new profile say you have a group I am putting in say yeah then you will add your products in here and then you have your shipping location you still have to you have to add a zone in here so if it's just in USA and still you have to add rates and now here again based on different rules you can specify just like we did earlier um, 
that you know uh, how it's all calculated based on different rules so this option here is just uh, you can connect to third-party services to get calculated rates but you probably need a uh, uh, an upgraded uh, Shopify account so in the beginning let's keep it simple set up your own rates and down here is where you will add your conditions uh, based on how you want to charge for this profile so after that once you have created a profile your products that are in this profile they will be charged uh, based on what you specify in here so this way you can manage how you want to charge uh, different shipping rates for different types of products and within Shopify I find this here is a good place you can play around and it gives you a an idea of the price and one thing also you will notice is when you use Shopify you do get some sort of a discount um, on the USPS prices so do compare you will see you get better prices from within Shopify and uh, that's it that wraps up this video thanks for watching I will see you in the next video thanks